Well, howdy friends, Brian Flesher of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and welcome back to another episode in our Q&A series. As always friends, we greatly appreciate the questions. Keep them coming and we'll get to them as we can. Make sure that you send them via email to admin at madriveroutfitters.com. Yes, we're a little bit old fashioned and we communicate via the telephone first and foremost, but also via email. If you'd like to have it filmed here for YouTube, it must come via email. Um, and of course, if we film it here on the channel, we're gonna send you a free Mad River Outfitters hat and fly box. So, I wanted to take just a minute today and go back a couple episodes. I think it was number 26, and Scott Owen from Yonkers, New York, had a question about whether he could run a straight piece of mono off of his fly line to save on uh, leader and tippet expenses, I believe, and spend more time fishing. And I wanted to go back and um, I was very remiss um, because I was so hell-bent on saying no, in fact, I said no in slammers, no, huge capital slammers, no. Can't do that. That you cannot just run a straight piece of mon. Well, you can, okay? You can, this is a free country. You can run a straight piece of mono. You can do whatever you want. But simple physics tells us that we really, if you really, really want to do this well and uh, enhance your fly casting, you really have to have a tapered leader. In fact, the simple physics is that the diameter and stiffness of the butt section needs to basically match your the tip of your fly line and then it's going to taper down to the proper diameter and stiffness for your fly. As you know we've got a lot more coming on this but that's the basics. It needs to be thicker at the butt, thinner at the tip and that permits the dissipation of energy which aids in your fly casting. Okay so yes you can tie a piece of mono on there but if you'd like to do it better and you'd like for it to work better then whether you tie your own or buy your own, a tapered leader is gonna work much better. But the part that I neglected to uh, really fill Scott in on is that there is a way, in fact, and again, my apologies, really stupid, uh, there is a way that you can save on cutting into your tippet and your package leaders. And also, I would like to go ahead and address Elias Fakvam. Uh, forgive me if I pronounce that wrong, um, uh, seems a Scandinavian country. Elias didn't tell us where he or she is from, but Elias chimed in with a question that kind of reminded me of this. And Elias says, Hi, I've watched a lot of your videos and they are very helpful. I'm amazed that you have managed to answer all the questions that I've had until now. And there have been quite a few. Um, oh, well, we're glad that we've amazed you, Elias. Wow. Uh, there's one thing I was wondering. I'm fishing on a relatively tight budget, and I was wondering if there's a way to avoid or minimize tippet loss when changing flies. Perhaps there are some tricks for minimizing the amount of tippet in the knot or clever knot that could be opened. Put shortly, I would like to not cut any of my tippet to change flies. Is that possible? And again, it ties into Scott's question from episode 26. And a to both of you guys and to a lot of folks out there, yes, there is absolutely a way that you can do this. And the answer is Rio fly clips and the uh, twist clips. These are kind of old school, but they're coming back in vogue. And I do believe there is a really valid use for these. Um, and it's going to save you on cutting back on your tippet and cutting into a tapered leader. Okay, and first of all, the fly clip. It's just a simple clip. They come in the package on a snap clip. I think there's 10 per package. Uh, you'll have to click the link down there and go to our website. It'll tell you exactly how many. But the fly clips, it's just a simple little clip, and you're going to attach that to your tippet using a clinch knot, just as you would normally tie on the fly. Okay, and if you need to learn how to tie a clinch knot, you can click that link that I'm sure is right there. And you're gonna tie your simple clinch knot and uh, moisten that knot as you do with all knots. And cinch that down and bada book, bada bing. Just like you're tying on a fly, come in and trim it. Which, by the way, uh, a guy by the name of Hank Manley, 
I assume he's the owner or uh, of the Manly family, sent me a new set of Manly pliers called the Nipper Gripper. As soon as these become available on the market, um, we will do a review and let you know about them. Anyways, thanks Hank Manley, I appreciate it. And we've got a review coming up for you. He's been putting our reviews on his website, which is pretty cool. So anyway, I've attached my fly clip and now you can take, um, this is great, especially if you're bass fishing, bluegill fishing, uh, streamer fishing, pike, muskie, really any kind of warm water fishing, this is gonna work just fine for you, no, no problem. And you simply just clip that fly right on. Couldn't be easier. I mean, it's that thing goes on there like butter. Um, it also kind of serves as a loop knot because it allows your fly to move around a little bit. And then if that fly is not working or it gets beat up or something, you're simply going to pop it right off and pop a new fly on there. Okay. Um, the twist clips are very similar. They're a little more robust, a little heavier duty and um, they're gonna keep the fly a little further away from the knot, which is not bad. Uh, but basically for your average size bass and bluegill stuff, the fly clips are fine. But for your bigger stuff, maybe for your pike, your musky, um, larger streamers, even some saltwater application for sure. Um, you know, basic streamer fishing in the salt. And the twist clip is just slightly different. You're going to get that fly in there and kind of twist it on and that makes a more secure connection and they are, tend to be a little bit more robust. But again, that fly is able to move around just like a loop knot. And then if you do want to change the fly, you're just going to twist that fly, twist that fly right off. <clears throat> this stays intact. Um, very robust, heavy duty. I have no problems uh, doing this. Uh, for, like I said, basic warm water, certain salt water applications, um, and that's going to save you on cutting into your tippet and what have you. So Elias, Scott, and many others, not to mention we have a lot of folks that chime in and ask if there's any way they have, maybe they have uh, tremors and they can't tie a knot so well, or um, maybe they can't see so well and this is a really really great solution for that and again i apologize scott i was so hell-bent on correcting you with slammers no uh, about the non-tapered leader which is not a leader um, anyways fly clips uh, again check them out on our website available at madriveroutfitters.com we appreciate the support but fly clips are available size 1, good for size 12 to 16, size 2, 8 to 12, size 3, size 4 to 8 hooks. The twist clips, a little bit bigger, more robust. Size 1 is going to go size 6 to 10 flies, size 2, 4 to 8, size 3, 1 out to 4 out. although I have easily gotten some larger 3 -oh and 4 -oh hooks on that size 3 twist clip. Okay. So there you have it, the Rio fly clips and twist clips. Again, check them out at madriveroutfitters.com. If you like these videos, we appreciate the support and we'll be happy to ship some of these no matter where you are in the world. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as well. It's totally free. Um, hit the like button. That really helps us out a whole bunch and it makes us feel good. We really appreciate it. So thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned. We have tons more coming at you. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.